welcome back to my channel. I'm Sammy Jane and thank you so much for joining us today. Today's video is going to be a first impressions slash kind of a review but more of a first impressions because I can't really review it because I'm not. You guys know what I'm saying. So it's a first impressions on the Perfect Selfie HD Photo Finishing Powder by Wonder 2. So these are the guys who brought you the Wonder Brow. And it's basically a finishing powder that is supposed to get rid of like your pores and your lines and stuff. It's so not going to work. If it does, I am going to be in love. Because you guys know I get these really bad lines here. Like they're so, so bad. So bad. Under my eye crease is really bad and I have really big pores. So if this works, it's going to be amazing. So you get this brush. I'm not sure if this came free or if it's part of it or what. I can't really remember. But this is the Wonder 2 Kabuki brush. And it just comes in this packaging like this. Oh, it feels quite soft. So what I'm going to do, I have primed my face with Autographs Hydrating Confidence Boost Primer. So that's what I've primed my face with, just so you guys know what we're, what we're working with. And then I'm going to use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in the shade Fair Like Neutral. I've used this loads so I know how it normally looks on my face and when I have powder over the top and things like that. So we're going to do like the regular base and then we're going to do this. So let's do it. So I've just turned the ISO down a little bit because I think you might be able to see what we are doing a little bit more. I feel like I've burnt my chest a little bit, guys. Oh, I'm not complaining. Oh, yeah. I'm not complaining, though, because, you know, we got a bit of sun. Whoop, whoop. So that is that. Now, I do, as a rule, avoid my forehead. I just put a really light... Like, I don't put loads on my forehead because of the wrinkles that are in there. So I'm now going to go in with my... Lasting Perfection Concealer by Collection. Wow, it seems like it's gotten really bright again. I don't know, you guys, you guys will know better than me. Am I catching the sun, guys? Look how pale my face looks now. It's fine, we'll be bronzing. So, I wanted to basically just use things that I use all the time so that we can give this a proper test. So, that's it now before the finishing powder. So, let's just get straight in and try this stuff out. So, this is what it looks like. It's super cute packaging. So I'm guessing like it's very white, which is good for me because I'm pale anyway. Let's do it. It doesn't look any different. So I've done one side of my face, just so we can see if it looks any different. The issue is because, let's turn the eyes though down. Well, I'm just going to be honest and give my honest opinion. I don't really think it looks any different. Actually, maybe a little bit, like my forehead, you can actually see, I think it's coming off on camera. This side looks a lot worse than this side, but I think this side is worse than this side anyway. But actually, it does look a little bit, a little bit blurred, if that makes sense, as opposed to the other side. 
Let's apply it to the forehead and see if it blurs the other side as well and then we might know. I don't know if you guys can see but... Looking at it, this side definitely has more wrinkles, like deeper wrinkles, but I think it does anyway, but let's just, let's apply this and see what happens. I don't know, do you think it looks any different now? Mm. I'm gonna be honest guys, and I'm not blown away by it. I don't think it's done anything miraculous or amazing. I think it's just really as good as any of my other setting powders. Something I really wanna try is that milk thing that, um that milk blur stick, that is something that I do want to try and see if it works because I just do, I do have huge pores and really bad like deep set wrinkles. I think it's an alright product, I think it's probably pretty alright as a setting powder but I wouldn't, I think it was 20 quid um, but it's supposed to like blur away like your pores and stuff and I just, I don't think it's really done much different to what any other setting powder would do. So. If you guys think it's worth 20 quid, because probably a lot of powders are about 15 to 20 quid, but then you will be able to get some cheap ones for like a tenner or less. But in my opinion, I like it I like it because it's white and I know that I'm looking quite pale because I've got a bit of a tan going on. Just because I'm a little, little bit red on here. But yeah. Um I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and come back and see what we're thinking then. So I've got the rest of my makeup on now. I did just film an eye tutorial slash, yeah, like kind of like, I filmed an eye makeup look, okay. I hate saying tutorial because it's not like I'm really that good. Oh, let's stay in focus, okay. So yeah, um, I feel like I want to come back to this video, but I don't know if I will. So I'm gonna say my goodbyes now, but I'm gonna try and remember to just do a quick vlog of like what my makeup looks later on tonight. As you can see on my forehead, it has actually started to settle already. And it's only been on like 10 minutes, so yeah. But it is already starting to settle and not look so great. But I am gonna see how it goes over the night because it might not, it might hold up better than others if that makes sense when it comes to like pores and wrinkles and stuff. So yeah, we'll see how that looks. If I do film um, a clip, I will insert it now. And if you haven't just seen a clip, then I didn't film them, so I'm really sorry. But yeah, I think actually, looking at this part of my face, it looks pretty good. Still got these deep wrinkles here. Like, nothing can be done about that other than Botox. That is my opinion. I think that is the truth. The rest of my skin does look quite nice, so in that case, I'm quite happy with it. So yeah. So I'll let you guys decide whether you think it's worth to pay £20 for, or whether you think you might as well just go for a cheaper one that's going to do probably a similar thing. And yes, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got this product and you have anything you can say about it, please leave it in the comments down below. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!